made you dig your foundation How Jesus loved on the cross Welcome again to Jesus This After Ministry broadcast I'm Pastor Robert Scales And I tell you we've had a glorious week This is uh, the third week I've been teaching on the confessions of Jesus' faith In Romans 1 Verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. And so I, I've been teaching y'all for the last three weeks that the just, it's written, the just shall live by faith. We, we live by Jesus. Jesus is faith. Faith is Jesus. So when really the Bible says in Romans 10 and 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But the correct interpretation of that is uh, uh, Jesus comes by hearing and hearing what come from Jesus lips it's the, it's it's exactly the same thing and many times uh, people don't understand in Romans 10 and 8 the word of faith is what we preach the word of coming to Jesus hearing what he say and doing what he tell us to do this is the only way that we're going to build our house on the rock Jesus said this in Luke chapter 6 Verse 46, he said, why call you me, Lord, Lord, master, master, and do not the things which I say? See, so Jesus' whole life here on earth was to come to get us to do what he said. Mary had it. I'm telling you, Mary had the revelation. She understood the word of faith. It's the strongest connection of the word of faith in the Bible. She said, when they ran out of wine, whatever he say, do it. And so Jesus cannot be your Lord unless you do what he say. Jesus said, whoever come to me. See, when you come to Jesus, you are believing he was the one sent from God with no sin and that he took our sins away on the cross. And then you have to uh, hear what he say. Believe and speak what he say, and then do what Jesus tell you to do. Well, Jesus said, forgive, I forgive y'all. See, you heard what Jesus said when, in Mark 11, 25, when you stand praying, forgive if you have asked against any. All right, you, 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 that's Jesus' faith. Now, you take and believe and speak. And well, Jesus said, when I stand praying, forgive. Lord, I forgive so-and-so. I forgive so-and-so. And, and so now you acted on, you've done what he told you to do. Now that's living by faith. That's living by Jesus. You can't live by Jesus if he ain't told you nothing. You can't live by Jesus. People done stepped out and tried uh, to do stuff, and then they're going to trust God for it. It's hard when you do that. But if you get a word from the Lord and, and, and he tell you something, he say something, you believe and speak what he said and do what he tell you to do, it's easy. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. Now, I'm getting back to 1 Timothy. Boy, I want I got, I got, I got to finish this because I'm going to pray with y'all at the end of this service. In uh, 1 Timothy 4, I've been teaching y'all the devil, and I taught you yesterday how the Spirit speaker expressing that in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. These devils, I taught you yesterday, Jesus said the devil never tells the truth. Everything he says is a lie. So he'll quote you scriptures, but he ain't going to have faith in them. He's not going to have Coming to Jesus, hearing what Jesus say, and doing what Jesus tell you to do. So he going to tell you, look, 1 John 1, 9, confession. You don't have to confess your sins. This is wrote through. That's a doctrine of devils because it takes faith. It's faith in that verse of believing that Jesus took your sins away, acknowledging that because you reverence in him, confess it. And then believe he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you so that the blood can be reapplied. Listen, saints, even in the Old Testament, they had to continually uh, come to the blood of bulls and goats. We have to continually hold fast to the confession of our great high priest, the son of the living God. If this ain't going to just work for us every day and we not live it by faith, live it by Jesus said, Jesus did, whatever Jesus say, do it. Amen. Amen. And so I showed y'all how the devil came and told Jesus it was written. 
and that he could jump off that cliff and God would catch him. See, it wasn't no faith. Had Jesus jumped off that cliff, he didn't really believe before he jumped that God would catch him. So that means he was tempting God, refusing to believe God's word, like the children of Israel did in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, that they, they, and, and verse 9. <coughs> They refuse to believe God and do what God told them to do. Amen. And so, listen, we can't be stupid. We can't stay ignorant. We got to know when preachers are preaching the word, do they have faith in their words? And, and, and one of the ways <laughs> that I taught you yesterday was in, in uh, 1 John chapter 4. This John was dealing with them false prophets. And 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 um and you know they they say uh, uh that 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 uh they try to make the Bible the, the wrote to the agnostics. They said, oh yeah, John was writing to the agnostics. Um, uh, no, he was writing to Christians not to follow the agnostics and anybody else. And 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 so here in First John four, we understand how to know them false prophets and false teachers. Because they're not telling you Jesus taught, Jesus said, Jesus did. Believe and speak what Jesus said and do what Jesus tell you to do. Like Mary said, whatever Jesus said, do it. And when they did it, they got wine out of water. Jesus said every spirit that confesses not, John said this from Jesus, every spirit that confesses not that Jesus is coming back, not, not he came. See, the devil can tell you that, oh, just say he came. No, it's what came from Jesus' lips the devil don't want in our mouth. And he don't want us doing what Jesus told us to do. Because if we do, we're building our house on the rock and the gates of hell can't prevail against us. The devil ain't never going to give you no revelation where he can't prevail against you. He is always going to give you scriptures where it's no faith in them, where you can resist him. You can put him on the run. He's going to puff you up that you ain't got to confess your sins. You all right. The Lord done done it. And that's not faith. That's not Jesus. Amen. And and so you you go. Let, let me let me read you something here. Let me read this here. Now I'm gonna go to Acts five. You are God, little children. First John four four, and have overcome them because greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear them. But we are of God. There are many y'all. I know y'all of God. He that knoweth God, listen to John, here with us. John said, us was the apostles. Anybody that's of God heareth Jesus and heareth the apostles. He that is not of God heareth not us. So, listen, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. When you don't accept John right into the church, you're not a God. I don't care who you are. I don't care how, how highly favored you. You you ain't never supposed to exalt no man. I teach people at Jesus as a church. Listen carefully. If I teach you anything that contradicts Jesus, come and tell me. I'm talking about in red. Jesus said, repeat. Or oh, you all going to likewise perish. And how in the world the Lord going to command me to forgive my brother and then, 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 and then it, it go to him when he wrong, and then I don't have to go to God when I'm wrong. That don't make sense. Why don't I just tell my brother, look, I've been forgiven of that. We ain't got nothing to straighten up. So you just going to see in that and then tell God you ain't got nothing to straighten up. You don't have to confess nothing. Then why he tell us to do that to each other? Because that's what he do. The Lord will never, he's our example. He'll never command us to do something he won't do. He said, love one another as I have loved you. Jesus is our example. Jesus is the one who walked this walk perfectly. And he's our example that it can be done. And he will show us how to do it. If we will believe and hear what he say, believe and speak what he say, and do what he tell us to do. He'll show us how to live like him step by step. Hallelujah. Now, when I listen carefully, you don't have to stay bound no more. You don't have, there's a person watching right now, and, and, and you, you've been bound for years. Jesus setting you free today. Oh, this your day of liberty today. 
The Lord is I just want to get this in your mouth. Jesus set me free. I just want you to believe what I just said. The Lord is setting you free today. And I want you to put that in your mouth. I want you to say it hundreds and thousands of times and name what it is. The bondage. Name, name, name that addiction. Name the habit. Name it every day. Name it. Jesus set me free. Je and then when Jesus tell you to do something, don't go around them people no more. Don't you go around it. You do what he tell you to do. You have to have action with your faith. There are times when Jesus got to separate you from people that's been influencing you the wrong way. Amen. Now, now here's what I want to show you in Acts chapter 5. Here, here Ananias and Sapphire, there was a certain man named, man named Ananias with Sapphire's wife sold a possession. And, and they kept that part of the price. And they, all they had to do was say, look, y'all, here's all we're going to give. We, we kept the rest. But no. They wanted to act like they done gave off so they could look important. Look how the devil tempted them. And, and, and his wife also being private of it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet and tried to act like they had really sold everything and like other people had. And they were trying to take the credit of something the Bible called his land. Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Look, look now, Satan feel thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost. And, and while it remained, was it not thy own? After it was sold, was it not in thy own power? Why has thou conceived this thing in thy heart? The devil always wants Christians to conceal sin in their life. He wants you to protect that sin, cover that sin. I'm afraid to tell it about it. I don't want to go to my pastor. I'm just so I know because Satan done filled your heart to lie. Yeah. And, 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 and boy, you better be glad the Holy Ghost ain't asking you about it. Because you could fall dead in church. And, 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 and the Bible says, thou hast lied. Not, thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. That's a bad place to be. Ananias heard these words, fell down, gave up the ghost. Great fear came on all them that heard these words. Then his wife came in. In the space of three hours later, they still at church. Well, a lot of y'all want to hurry up and get out to go eat. When his wife, not knowing what was done, came in, Peter asked her, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. She said, oh, yeah, we sold it for that. Yeah, we gave y'all all of the land thing. Peter said unto the house that you have agreed together to tip the spirit of the Lord. Tip how? Refusing to believe and to do what Jesus said. Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband at the door shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straightway at the feet and yield up the ghost. Young men found her, came in, found her dead, and carried her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon the church. Oh, no, Pastor Ken, we all forgiven. Oh, God ain't got no more rap. Well, I don't know about this, but if this ain't rap, I'd like to know what rap is. They reap what they sow. Instead of them hearing what Jesus said, doing what Jesus said, believing and speaking what Jesus said, doing what Jesus tell them to do. They allowed the devil to fill their heart, to lie against the Lord, to lie to the Holy Ghost. Saints, I'm, I'm telling you, these false doctrines, that, you know, now listen, listen to me now. It, it, it almost seems funny, but it's not. Um. If we was already forgiven of everything and there was no responsibility of faith in it, then why they die? I had a man come up to me. They, they just came to our church, him and his wife and joined. He came up to me and asked me this past Sunday. He said, Pastor but you know, we're under grace now. And why did Ananias suffer die and we under grace? See, he done been taught wrong about grace that you don't have to access it by faith. See, he done been taught about grace that there's no faith in it. But the faith, the Bible said, the Bible said in, 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 in Romans chapter 5 verse 1, that we have access into this grace by faith, by Jesus. We got to hear what Jesus say, believe and speak what Jesus say, and do what Jesus tell us to do. This is how you live a Christian life. If you love one another, you are a follower of Jesus. If you love one another, John chapter 34 verse Verse 34 and 35, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you. By this 
uh, shall all men know that you are my disciples. If you, if you, if you, because you might not. If you have love one for another, that's the only way you can know when you follow in Christ. When you are believing and speaking how Jesus loved you on the cross and you living that love toward one another. You're living by faith. You're living by faith. You're living by faith. Let me let me hurry up back because I got to close and I want to pray with you. In Ephesians chapter 4, here it is again. Verse 27. Watch it now. See, the devil's been defeated. He He's been defeated by Jesus. He ain't defeated in our lives unless we live by faith. Living by faith is coming to Jesus, believing he's the one sent from God with no sin, took our sins away. Now you got to hear something from Jesus so faith can come to you because Jesus is our faith. And then when you hear what Jesus said, you got to believe and speak what Jesus said so you can make it your faith. Then you do what Jesus tell you to do. Now you get the same results who Jesus perfectly lived that same perfect life of God will live through you and me every day, every day. So you got to practice this. You got to do this. So Paul taught us, the apostle Paul is, 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 uh, be angry and sin not. See, see, you're going to be angry sometimes, but don't get out of love. Don't get out of faith. Don't get out of hearing what Jesus said. Do what I had a guy left our church and and he, he, he said, the Lord told, this man is in a position in the church. And he left our church and said, God told him to just walk out the door. Didn't even get, look, I mean, in the world, you'll give a two-week notice. We ain't even get no notice. Just gone. And that's not faith. Jesus, it's not the way, G it didn't bring peace. Uh, Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. People be saying God told them to do this, and it's the devil telling them because it ain't no hearing what Jesus said, believing and speaking what Jesus said, and doing what Jesus tell you to do. They don't even know it's the devil because it sounds like it's God to do something that ugly, but Jesus ain't been to have you hurt anybody. He ain't been to do that. And so a lot of times people don't understand what faith is, and faith is hearing Jesus love like he loved. Jesus wouldn't have never done me like. He said he'll never leave me or forsake me. And there's a way for you to lead. There's a way for you to do things in love. In love. And I tell you, all that Jesus suffered on the cross, and people, you know, act like they can't suffer nothing. I've been suffering stuff for years. Suffering people. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down on the right. Don't let the sun go down and you still angry with somebody. Don't ever go to bed mad at your spouse. Neither give place to the devil. Well, the devil's defeated. You can't give the devil no place. Yes, you can. The Bible says you can give him place. That's another false doctrine. It's no faith of you resisting the devil and he fleeing from you. Got to resist the devil. That's why the devil have them teaching that mess. Because they say, oh, you can't get the devil no place. So he can just work in your life and, and you don't even know that you become a devil possessed in your thinking. Let him stole steal no more. But rather let him work. The thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Now I'm going to close over here uh, in First Peter chapter 5 verse 6. Listen at this carefully. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your cares, all your worries, all your anxieties, all your fears, all your concerns, once and for all, on him, because he cares for you. He loves you affectionately. God is in love with us, what he did on the cross in Jesus. And it takes faith to live that. It takes faith to receive that. It takes Believing it, it takes hearing what Jesus did, hearing what Jesus said, believing it, speaking that out of your own mouth, getting it in your heart, and then doing what Jesus tell you to do. If you're not doing what Jesus tell you to do, you haven't put the word in your heart yet. It might be in your mouth, but you got to get it in. You got to say it to you get in your heart where you are living it every single day. And the gates of hell can't prevail against you. 
because you have wisdom, you have revelation of how to come to Jesus, hear what he said, do what he said. The devil couldn't defeat Jesus on earth in one thing. When you hear Jesus, believe and speak what he say, do what Jesus tell you to do. He can't defeat you and I in one thing. Hallelujah. That's good news. That's the good news of Jesus Christ. Watch verse 8. Be sober. Be alert in your thinking. Be vigilant. Be alert. Be watchful. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. See, he can't seek everybody. He knows some of us got insight into hearing, believing, and speaking and doing what Jesus said. The gates of hell can't prevail against Jesus. It can't prevail against what Jesus builds in our lives. Look at this. Seeking whom he may. Seeking somebody will take hold of his thoughts who will start believing lies, scriptures that don't have faith in them. Whom we look at verse 9, I'll close with this. Whom resist steadfast in the faith. So you got to resist him. How? By coming to Jesus, hearing what Jesus said, believing and speaking what Jesus said, and doing what Jesus tell you to forgive everybody. Listen, turn from darkness and tell that darkness, tell that addiction. Jesus set me free. This how I stay free for, uh, uh, for since 1988. I told those temptations. Jesus set me free. I ain't living like that. I ain't doing that no more. And devil, you can't make me do it no more because Jesus set me free. And I'm standing on that who the Son set free. It's free indeed. And, and so my action was resisting those thoughts, casting down those thoughts, every thought that exalted itself against the knowledge of God bringing into captivity every thought to make it obey. Jesus taught, Jesus said, Jesus did. I believe, I believe and speak what Jesus said, and I do what Jesus tell me to do. There are many of y'all watching today. You've been believing wrong. It ain't been working. You need to pray with me to surrender your life to Jesus. You just need to start over. A fresh and new. Pray this prayer with me. Just, just mean it from your heart with all the sincereness in you. The Lord will see your heart. Say it out loud. Father God, I come to you today in the name of the Lord Jesus. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Son of God. I believe in my heart. When Jesus died on the cross, he took my sins away. And on the third day, I believe in my heart, God's mighty power raised Jesus from the dead. Say this out loud. Lord Jesus, I surrender every area of my life to serve you and follow you to do God's will. I repent of my sin, the sin of unbelief. I turn from unbelief and I turn to believing. I believe in you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to say this if you believe. My sins are gone. I receive forgiveness. Say, I receive forgiveness from all my past. I believe my sins are gone forever through the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm excited about that. Listen, I want to pray for y'all who are sick, who are bound on addictions. Point your hands toward my hands on the screen and believe. That when I speak these words, I want you to start praising Jesus, thanking him for healing you in the area that you need it. By the authority of the head of the church, the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, be healed in your bodies. I curse every sickness and every disease. Satan, that spirit of infirmity, I command you to loose God's people in Jesus' name. Take your hands off of it. I bind those spirits over their minds. I break those chains off of their minds. And Lord, I thank you right now. Help them, help them, Lord, to receive from you your great love. Now open your mouth and begin to thank him. Begin to praise him. You got to go testify. You got to go tell people, Jesus set me free. Jesus healed me. I don't care if you still feel something wrong. You go and speak your faith. You go and speak your faith and you testify. The Lord Jesus has touched me. 
and, 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 and believe according to the word by 1 Peter 2, 24, by stripes I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I believe according to the word I'm healed. And I'm telling you, you wake up every day, you go to bed every night, wake up every morning praising him and thanking him and do it all during the day. And you will see that Jesus is faithful to his word. Amen. Hallelujah. I want y'all to call. Call our church. 615-237-9802. Saints, you out there that just prayed, you out there that need to pray, you come to Jesus as church this Sunday. I tell you that God will have a word and there'll be more power there when you come with all the saints there. And I invite you to come to Jesus as church in Watertown, a church that's alive, it's worth the drive. You need a good church. And I, I tell you two things I promise. I'm going to teach you the truth and I'm going to love you. And so, uh, you know, so don't come with your feelings on your shoulder because I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to help you get free and live victorious in the teachings of Christ and the apostles. Amen. Make you a true disciple of Jesus Christ. So come and I know you'll be blessed. Our service time is Thursday night, 7 o'clock p.m. And Sunday morning, Sunday school, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, regular service. Also, we stream all our services live on Thursdays and Sundays. So you can watch us on the web and get blessed. Also, I want to make available to you the confessions of Jesus' faith. Now listen, this is the last day I'm going to offer this special price, part one and part two of the confessions of Jesus' faith. And it's for forty-five dollars, and I'll give you two free books as a gift from from me, the Believer's Guide to Christ. And I tell you, saints, you give somebody one of them, it will bless their life. They will never want to get that book back to you. And uh, so you order these at Post Office Box two nine two. Write that down. Post Office Box two nine two one one two, Nashville, Tennessee. 37229, or you can go to robertscareministry.org, go on our webpage, and you can order the CDs with your credit card or your debit card, and uh, we'll get, I'll pay the postage and handling, and we'll get them right out to you. I, well, my time is up. I want to thank my friends and partners. Thank you for helping me. Let us know if the broadcast has been a blessing to you. I tell you, the Lord is good, and his mercy endures forever. I love you all so much. I pray for you daily. And also, you can go online to robberscalesministries.org. You can, you can sow with your credit card or debit card. Saints, we want to hear from you. Help me to get the gospel out. I pray that the Lord will continually richly bless you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm lining up what I'm teaching word by word, line up on line, precept on precept. And thank y'all so much for helping me to get the gospel out. Well, my prayer for you. It's that you will know the love of Christ that passes knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God. From Jesus' this answer ministries, I'm Pastor Robert Scales. Remember, as Christ loved you on the cross, receive his love, believe it, speak it, and go live it toward others. Have a blessed weekend. I hope to see you Sunday in church. Bye-bye.